Hi, it's Wendy here from Wendy's Art. Um, I have Rhea joining me today and we've decided to do a bit of an abstract play session. Um, we're using some 8 by 10 inch canvas panels and just some earthy colours. So off we go. Okay, so we're about to make a start getting up nice and cosy here <laughs> so we can fit both of our panels in the screen. Um, I'm actually going to start with some pit oil based pencils and a bit of charcoal. What about you? Me too. Me too? Okay. So as we said, it's just a play session. So I'm going to hold my pencil right at the top and that way it can just mosey on along. It's not showing much. That's all right. Mm. Just, just get some marks here and there. And we're going for more of like an earthy sort of theme with our abstract. Yeah, this is the pit oil based pencil, so it doesn't show up as much as the charcoal on this particular panel, but that's okay. All right. Now I've got a, oh, another pit oil base, there you go. <laughs> okay, so this is a ready brown one. Sanguine, I think it is. Yep, sanguine colour. I'm going to use these Staedtler Lumo Colour Permanent Pencils in colour yellow for just some pop. These ones are very buttery. Okay, now what's this one here? General's Charcoal, okay. That should be, I'm expecting to be a bit darker, but mm, not overly. Okay, that's interesting. I'm using the Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 water soluble wax crayons. And you probably can't see them. I'll give you a little show. Here's what they look like. And it picks some earthy tones. So I've just picked up a white Lumo colour stapler and it's showing up very nicely. Okay, we've had a bit of a water accident. <laughs> That's normally me that knocks the water over. So for once, for once it was Rhea. <laughs> okay, Nana's got a bit carried away with the white there while I wasn't looking. <laughs> okay. Now, let's try and add a bit of green. Okay, the Lumo colour again. Oh, Lumo colour shows up very nicely on this panel. Okay, so I've got a greeny sort of colour, a vert chromium oxide green, and we've actually got the golden paint of that exact colour, which is pretty cool. And we've got cinnamon and flesh. Ooh, these are very nice and buttery, creamy. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna bring out some Aquatone, Derwent Aquatones. I'm, I'm liking this green here, emerald green. And what I'm going to do is actually <clears throat> dip the point in water because if I just put it down like that, as you can see, you can barely see it. But I'm thinking that with a touch of water, yeah, it becomes easier to see. And I can do my little rolls. The purpose of mark making is just to get your base done and to have fun. So you don't really need to make it perfect. So if you don't like it, then you can always go over it because it's just your base layer. Yeah. I find mark making just takes you back to your childhood when you're at school and you can just do what you wanted. There's no pressure. It doesn't have to look pretty. Just have fun with the process. 
And as Rhea said, most of this will get covered up anyway, but it's just a nice, nice way to not be starting with a, a blank canvas, basically. And I love how little, little marks show up through the paint in places. Um, okay, my next Aquatone is a middle chrome. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make some little shapes. I'll make some little circles over here. Two more. This one and this one. And I might do the same with the green just once. Otherwise, um, that's a lot. <laughs> okay. So I think I'm finished my mark making. Yeah, I think that'll probably do me too. And now I'm moving on to painting. So I'm starting with Titan Buff by Golden Fluid Acrylics. Golden is an amazing brand and it's an amazing base colour too. What are you starting with now? Um, I'm going to start with the, the Golden Titan Green Pale. A little bit of pale green. Whoa. I think Rhea's I think Rhea has been using this one. <laughs> no, I have. I think you have. Because Nana doesn't leave them in a mess like this. <laughs> I love it. And it's still wet, so it's definitely you. <laughs> All right. Okay. And then I'm going to try this Nicolazzo Yellow. If you've watched Nana's videos before, you've probably seen her use the Quinacridone Nicolazzo Gold, but we've never actually used the yellow. So this is the first time using it, and it looks sort of like a dark mustard -y colour. If I'm being honest. Oh. Okay, so my green pale is quite opaque so I'm going to switch after this to a more transparent color so I can still see some marks underneath um, okay and then I'm going to use the chromium oxide green the exact green that I've done with this mark start blending it in with the paintbrush. What I'm going to do is see these little cracks? I'm going to add, I'll try to add paint in each of those cracks. So as you can see, the mark making has sort of shown through and I think it looks pretty nice. Okay, I'm going for a transparent yellow oxide now. Oh. It's a new one. I've got our aprons on. You might want to get your apron on. Thank you. Just connect it like this. And I'm just going to put my apron on so we don't make a mess. see the difference there with the transparent how you can see right through it which is really nice and then contrasted with the opaque where it 
that covers most of it up. yellow. It's actually not bad of a colour. Not a bad colour. Nice colour. Uh, okay, what do I want to do? Let's try a bit of Mars Red Oxide. It looks interesting. It's so hot here that the paint's literally drying before our eyes. Um, the minute you put it down, it's, it's, it's done. It's dry. Unbelievable. So, no time for retouching or going back. It's like, put it down and it's dry. In Australia, it's summer right now, as oh. you probably guessed, because of how hot it is. But if you're in a different country, what season is it for you? So today's just mostly just like a play sort of day. We're just testing out stuff. We're not Having fun. selling it or like professionally doing this. We're just having fun. Okay. I might use some more Titan Buff to mix with the green. It's just a little bit. So it makes a light green sort of colour, I hope. <laughs> Ooh, that's sort of like a sage green, and I love sage green. Okay. Ooh, I'm liking this colour. I might add a little bit more in another section here. Wow, that's drying fast. <laughs> can't believe it. It's like super fast. Most people mix their um, paints on a palette, but I sort of just like put it on the canvas just hoping for the best <laughs> I'm not sure what it'll turn out to be but I still do it going with the flow so I'm liking this minty minty sort of color okay I might apply that right here to, to add some more lights Oh, it's dry. Oh. <laughs> All right, what am I going to do next? I think okay. I might go with a bit of tight enough. I might add some in this little squash area here. Just a little bit. Okay, now. I'm going to go get a dark colour because we do need darks for some contrast. Can you bring some um, Payne's grey over there? Okay, so I've got a little bit of mm. Hooker's Green Lake Deep in the Ara brand. And I don't want to add too much. Just maybe add some here, here, and here. 
otherwise it'll be way too dark. Might need to add a bit more opening my brush. Too lazy to clean it. Okay. And now for this little dude, this little spot. So later on in the upcoming layers, I might redo this dark or even glaze a bit over. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I just said glaze, I mean using a glazing liquid and mixing a colour with it and applying a light layer over it. So it looks like it still looks the same, but a little bit different if you know what I'm talking about. What are you doing? I've done this tightened buff a little bit thicker, so it's probably just going to take a few minutes to dry, so I'm just having a little rest. <laughs> okay. This looks like pretty similar, but a bit different at the same time. I'm using Raw Sienna in the Ara brand. that's a little bit of a different colour. I might actually keep the paint on my brush and mix the green with it to make more of a brown. Or not. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like a yellowy green colour. Here we go. Oh, that's actually a really nice green. I'm proud of that. Okay. There we go. I just apply it over here because I want to apply it more than once. And write in the comments below, do you enjoy abstracts doing them or do you just enjoy watching them? Or do you not enjoy them at all? And do you prefer drawing, like me? I, I enjoy them, but my main, my main style is drawing. Okay. okay, what should I do? What I'm actually going to do is add some more mark making in this little area. And that will be my focal point. Because you do need a focus point in the paintings. And I'm going to use some Payne's Grey with these cylindrical sticks and add some dots. I think that was a black. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a black using this some um, green to stand out to the other greens and I'll do a yellow here okay I'm just thinking what color I should do here maybe I should do a transparent red oxide to make it stand out since I haven't done one yet with a bit of red oh going to wash this brush. Okay, so I'm just changing to a smaller stick this time, this one. It's nice to have a variety of sizes, so you can make some big ones, small ones, medium. Yes, this one's nice. And I've got this little scratch tool. And what I'm going to do is add the Hooker's Green Lake over this and scratch through so you can see this lovely red colour.
And now I'm just going to wait for this to dry, which won't take long since I've only applied a thin coat. Oh. Okay, so I'm now switching to some smaller ones again with the Payne's Grey. I'm just going to surround that with a few smaller dots. And when I scratch through with this tool, you can also see the mark making that I've made underneath. <coughs> so, in later layers of this abstract, I might add some reds so that this spot isn't lonely and it's got some friends. And I might work on this in this area. Hmm. I'll mix this red with some green gold. It's a lovely colour. And it should make a brown because red and green equals brown. Red and green should never be seen. Yeah. Well, I'm doing red. Of course not. Who ever came up with that idea? There are two main Christmas colours for goodness sake. Yeah. Are you guys excited for Christmas? I am. Oh yeah. Christmas is such an exciting time of the month. Oh, Rhea has already decorated my house for me. Yeah. So we're doing well. Already two steps ahead. Mm. Three steps. We decorated it in November. <laughs> we're just being prepared. Yeah. Oh, squeaky. I hate that sound. Sounds like um, cutlery <laughs> on a plate. Trying to do it as <laughs> softly as I can. I might add this somewhere else. So mm. Oh, yuck. <laughs> it's making me uncomfortable. Oh, is it? Yeah. Sorry, darling. <laughs> oh, it's Rhea's birthday, by the way, everybody. Oh, yeah. Happy 12th birthday, Rhea. <clears throat> Thanks. Mm. And um, by the time you guys are watching it, it's probably... Maybe past the 5th <laughs> of December. I'll cut that out. Okay. Oh, squeaky looking thing. Okay, is this dry? Okay, that's basically dry. Um, I'm going to add the hooker's lake over. It's a bit sticky. Yeah, it's not dry, but who cares? Okay. You can't be bothered. Okay. Just get this washed. And I'll be right back. Okay. Don't mind the dog. She's um being That's a dog. All the time. She's being a dog. And, oh, this might look very interesting. I'll scratch through some rocks, some uneven circles, because this is sort of an earthy sort of abstract, and rocks are earthy. I don't really know what to say, but they are. Oh, yes. Can't really see the red color. But, um, that's fine. I should have let it dry. Probably should have. Yeah, probably should have let it dry, but... This also looks really cool for a focal area. What I might do is get, like, a red pen or a red fine line and just go through this. Go through the circles. when I'm doing this.
Okay, I'm not sure what I've done here. I'm just going to do this just for some more pop, I guess. I'm not really sure, but yeah. I'll do it to every one or two that I see. I'm not really sure how it got white because the actual canvas is a linen colour, it's sort of a brown colour and I'm not really sure how that happened but just go with the flow. What are you doing Anna? Nothing. <laughs> I'm deciding whether or not to add some more, more red, red colour to actually make it into a Christmas thing because then it's got the green and we'll have the red. What do you reckon? I thought they weren't doing Christmas. I wasn't, but now I sort of look like I am. Red and green. <laughs> I'm just deciding whether to go a bit redder. Okay, that's enough before I stuff it up. Actually, I'll do one more. Okay, last one. Um, that's a pretty good focal point. I don't think I'm going to add the red. I will add it somewhere else, just not here. I might add, I might glaze over a red here. I'll show you what glazing is. Okay, I just need to wash this brush. I am mixing some Ara Cadmium Red Deep with some of the Mars Red Oxide that I've used here. And what I might do is then mix that together and just add some little dots. Little, little. Wait, do you use glazing liquid or glossy medium? Glazing liquid's fine. Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'll put this aside for a sec. Okay. I've got my palette, I've got my brush, and I've got my golden medium acrylic glazing liquid. And what I'm going to do, oops, okay, I'm gonna put some here, just like, I'm only gonna do a small spot. And I'm going to get a red, Mars red on the side. Actually, I've just got this unusual little palette knife here, which, I've decided to make some little paint marks. As you can see, I've only added a little dollop of red and I might not even add that much. Just get this much and mix it in. Oh yes, that red was plenty. And I might actually add some more glaze. So it's not meant to be the full colour, it's just a little wash of red to make it look a little reddish. Okay, so I've got my painting here. Go over with my glazing liquid. Sort of looks pinky, that's fine. It will look a little bit different when it dries. There we go. And I might glaze this spot to be an interesting orangey red colour. There we go. So that's what you do with glazing liquid. Very useful if you wanted to change your colour without actually full on changing it. Yeah. doing little red dots here. <laughs> I'm going to use some white. Just actually, no, I'm using a yellow because I've never used the yellow before.
put some more detail and pop into the painting. Okay, so I've basically done sort of like the base of my abstract, but I've done a lot. <laughs> and now I'm going to add some more fun to it. I'm going to do that. Well, how will we do that, huh? What sort of fun are you going to add? I don't know, I just said that. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Get a possible mark. Okay, I've got a brown, a gold, and a red, but I think this is too red, so bye bye. Okay, here's this brown to add some more of these circles so that the circles have friends but it's not the main focal point but when you look at the abstract you're not going to look up there straight away otherwise um yeah i don't think you would <laughs> i wouldn't so i might just add it here This is looking really ugly. <laughs> what? I only like this part. It's a good thing about fun, having fun with abstract styling. You don't have to like it, you just have fun doing it. Okay, now I need some more green for the Christmas theme. Can you see your thing in there? All right. Um, oh no, you guys can't see my thing that I'm doing. Move your paint. There we go. Sorry guys. Um, just trying to think what green I want to do. Do green gold. Uh, I'm thinking like a dark thing because I've got the dark. Payne's grey. I'm thinking I need some more. Actually, is that a green there? Mm -hmm. Can you pass that over, please, John? Okay. Uh, that's a bit dark, dark, isn't it? Um, I might mix a bit of Hooker's green late deck and a bit of chromium oxide. But first of all, I probably need to clean up my paint mix here. For a dry solid. I'm using a glass palette to mix my paints on and it's quite good because you, when you're finished with that colour, you just, um, just give it a quick spray, wipe it up with paper towel and then you're good to go for the next one. You know what? I might mix... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There must be a darker green over there. Let's have a look. Okay, fellow green. Actually, there's another one like that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this, oh, I might keep going with this little trail like this. Oh, yes. Now the gold looks darker on the buff, but lighter on the green. Yes, that's cool. I'm going to use stencil. Okay, I am making a mixture of greens, just for something a little, so I'm using a sap green, a gold green, and a phthalo green, so let's 
Let's see what happens with that. I'm using the hookers green because I don't really have any darks. I'm just going to put it here. Gonna clean it up. I think. Actually, I don't think I'll add the green gold. I think I like the mixture I've got with the sap and the fallow. I do. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's nice. Let's go. Oh, just not that pretty? <laughs> I just pressed down on the colours with the knife. Actually, I'm going to see if I can imprint that. some dark mm. without it just being plain. Doing the dots, it's always good to have a light area that you can come onto that they show up really nicely on. Putting the dark over the dark sort of gets a bit washed away. It's a pretty green, that. I'm going to use this big ball because it'll be good for dots. And I'll use the transparent red oxide. I thought 
thought it would make bigger circles, but apparently not. You can use one like this. Going smaller again. I find this super relaxing doing these dots. It's probably pretty boring for you guys, but um, it's, uh, it's just so nice. Very good relaxation tool. Okay, it's enough dots for me before I go over. You're not as dotty as me, are you, no. darling? <laughs> before I go not as dotty as your nana. I'm only adding just slight dots because it isn't earthy theme and the dots represent the box. rid of the lights and I don't have any titan green pale. Mm. Just for a bit of pop. Just for a bit of pop. I'm just going to oh. mm, I love those ones. Thank you. I'm going to tossing up whether just to add some bite the bullet and add some bright red <laughs> you should <laughs> to finish off my Christmas theme it would definitely go that I wasn't going to do a Christmas theme but it's the thing with abstracts once you start it can stop. turn any which way <laughs> you might plan to not be going to do something and suddenly it just appears Oh, that's the joy of abstracts. You can just start with a blank slate and not sure what you're going to end up with and yeah, <laughs> completely surprise yourself. Which is the fun of playing. And as I said, when you're playing, it doesn't matter what it turns out like. If you don't like it, that's okay. At least the most important thing is to have fun with the process. And even though it might not look that wonderful, I am going to add some red. <laughs> Oh my god, no. This is not coming. Whoa, okay, that came off. Okay, I think that's good. Actually, one more. There we go. And I might actually do the exact same thing, but with. Hmm. I feel like it's very crowded. And I just need a warm colour to cool it off. 
some sap green, sap green lake, sorry, not sap, in the Ara brand. We'll do the exact same thing with just a cool colour, not a bright and outgoing colour, not like a bright green or a bright red. I'm just doing... Okay. got this range of reds here. I've got two Liquitex paint markers and three Posca pens. So I'm sort of thinking, so this is the one that I mixed the red with. Um, I think I might go with this darker, uh, what does it say? Cadmium red deep hue in the Liquitex. Oh, I hope it's, um, <laughs> it's not dried up. Yuck. Let's give it a bit more of a looks a bit, bit, bit of a looks a bit magenta-ish. Maybe I'll... you should add a pop of pink. No. <laughs> or yellow. I was thinking well I'm thinking red and then I'm just gonna stand it upstairs near the Christmas tree so it can <laughs> sort of blend in. <laughs> Yeah, this one's, oh. it's not a real red, look at that, it's sort of like a, no, it's um, not the red I need, it's more, this one here is more of a purpley red, um, okay, so not that one, let's try, what's this one, um, cadmium red medium hue in the Liquitex paint marker. Okay, let's try this one out. Okay, Whoa, so that's red. <laughs> I feel like this painting is a little it's a lot. It's a little bit too busy. And I'm more on the calm side. Oh <laughs> when painting. She's not on the calm side normally, folks. Whoa, that's like a big paint drop. Oh. So I'm just going to add some calm areas. So you don't feel stressed out when you look at my painting. <laughs> That's funny, Bob. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. Okay, so the paint was coming too quickly out of the Liquitex paint marker for my purposes. So I'm onto the Posca now. Posca in the red. And the size I'll be using is a PC3M. Give them a really good shake. Gives you better results. Okay, then you just gotta keep pushing the nib down on a hard surface until the paint comes. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, that's a bright one. Look at that. Huh. Yeah. What do you think? It's very bright, but I like it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it at the base of these little, they look like little um, elf hats. Look. <laughs> so I'm putting some little baubles at the base of the elf hats. How cool is that? <laughs> okay, I love this, the way this gives you those tiny little dots. It's, Really nice. Okay, some little red baubles for this elf. Bit of his hat's missing, but that's okay. Oh, this one's got a lopsided bottom of the hat. And a few for this guy. All right. Now, what I think I'm going to do Oh, my, my eyes are seen double. <laughs> oh, focus. Okay. Oh. Okay. This looks like a candy cane. I'm going to do a candy cane. Candy 
hurricane time. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll put a few red ones here to brighten up these darker red ones. This one's a Christmas tree, though. <laughs> you like that? Christmas tree. I don't know what this one is. Oh, this could be another candy cane. This is another candy cane. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> What's this one? This one is another Christmas tree. Except it's going to come down in out. Hold on, I have to turn it around. <laughs> I hope you can still see it. In, out. Okay. Christmas tree. Um, oh, okay. Need a bit more red. Okay, now, um, I think I might just let mine sit for a minute and think about it, but I think I, I'm finished. I think I, yeah, I think I might be done too. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I like that green. Okay, I'll have that green when you're finished. <laughs> I'm going to do a few green dots. That's a pretty green. Yes, that's nice. Good job, Bob. Green is it? it? Just says green, isn't it? Oh, it's in Japanese. So <laughs> could be could be saying anything to me right now. Thank you. 
Okay, I am done. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us, everybody. And um, we had lots of fun, so I hope you enjoyed our little play session. Um, and until next time, please like and subscribe. And see you again. Thank you. Bye. This is the end of our video. Here is Nana's painting, and here is mine. Thanks for watching.